Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, Fun Do's, and welcome if you are new. So today we are going to chat about a topper that I decided to try. Um, I will attach a video of another topper that I reviewed uh, quite a while back. Um, but I have not really gotten into toppers, um, A, A for one thing, because they seem to be priced pretty much the same as a wig, which I really don't understand that because, um, it's not a full cap and there's less fiber. So I'm not really understanding why they're priced so at the price point they are. Um... The second reason is that I, the one, well, okay, the one that I did try, as well as this one, doesn't seem to provide the coverage for where I need it. Um, it seems that a lot of the toppers are more for thinning areas here, like at the crown, the front, and maybe on the sides, because the two toppers that I have seem to be very dense in that area, mostly. Back here, and I'll spin around. So this is my bio here. Back here, you know, at the, I don't even know, I mean, is it the crown? Is it more the back? Is where my thinning hair is mostly. And these, at, at about that area, is where the topper tends to thin out because you're supposed to have enough of your own bio hair to have that blend in and not be an issue. So that's why I have not really gravitated toward them because A, for the price, you can get a full wig and it covers everything. Um, but the reason why I wanted to try this is because A, my hair is starting to grow out, thank God. Um, it's been two years now going on three where it, um, it is starting to grow out. It does look pretty awful at the ends. I have this back right now, but it is also very thin and fine and will not hold any kind of style. Another reason why I wanted to look at toppers again is because of the summer months coming up. Um, sometimes the wigs you get can be very warm and I like to wear hats as well, and that could be um, an issue as well because that wig will take up a lot of room in a, in a hat, and you really have to get a large hat or, you know, do something different because you can't wear hats. So that is why I wanted to try toppers again. Now, what I did, so as I said, this is my bio hair. Um, I'm going to spin around and show you what the full situation is here. But I recently, so I would always part my hair. I don't know. I never know which way this is to the left, I guess I would say. And so because of my injury to my head recently, <laughs> um, I'm like, you know, and I've been wearing wigs with bangs a little bit more and to disguise that area. And so that is why I trimmed up some bangs in my hair. Don't know if I did it right. Um, I didn't want to get too crazy with it, but um, I think they turned out actually pretty good. These, this was done maybe like last weekend. Um, so I today I haven't like really even like curled them up or anything because I wanted to show you what all this looks like. So I have my hair back. And right now, so I will just tell you, give you an idea. Okay, well, And this isn't really maybe a good clip, but this is a cute little clip I had in it. Four clips, you know, it's not very sturdy, I guess I'll say. So it was already falling out. So this is my hair situation. So it's very sparse in the in the back back here. The, the length of it is very sparse. And the reason why I also, I don't know if I mentioned this, but the reason why I also wanted to look at toppers again is because I wanted to start wearing my hair up. And if I could find something that blended in with my own hair uh, and wear it up, then that was even better. So I'm going to spin around and show you what I'm looking at here. And then I'm going to show you. So it, at the end of this video, there will be 
me taking this out of the box. Now this isn't an out of the box because I did wear this last weekend and try all this out. But you will see the contrast. So what I did is I put on a very light wig cap. Um, so you can see the contrast of where the hair is. So this is the topper. So you can see where the hair started and stopped essentially on my head. And I put it on how you would wear it. So let me tell you a little bit about this. This is called the B Blunt Topper by Envy in the color medium brown. And I got medium brown because that's usually how my own bio hair is, how I tend to, you know, when I dye my hair, how it tends to be, etc. So let me show you the inside of this. Um, monofilament part, lace front, and there's four pressure clips. One, two, three, four. Now, I am not going to act like I am an expert on toppers because I'm not. Maybe the issue with me not getting the coverage that I need is because I don't even know what I'm looking for. But I got this on the Patty's, Wigs by Patty's Pearls website because it was on sale probably less than a hundred dollars. Um, and these things actually go for like 140 bucks. It's insane. It is insane. So I got this on a sale probably because it was a return. So this is a blunt topper, a Bob style. It tends to part like off this way, but more it, the bangs are more center parted. Um, the hair length, the front is six and a half inches. The crown is eight. The sides are 7.5 and the nape is 7.5. Now this nape is where, uh, the coverage does not work for me, if you will, because when you set this on your head, this really like just hits the area of where I am experiencing hair loss. Um, the base is six and a half inches by seven and a half. So I'm thinking this is six and a half by seven and a half. And the total weight is 1.6 ounce, 1.66 ounces. So you can see that these are going to be a lot cooler and lighter than a wig. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spin around and show you what this look, my hair looks like. So this is the front. I don't know if you can see the side. You know, I have hair on the side. That is not the issue. And the front, I mean, it might be a little thinner, but when you turn around, the most of my thinning is in the back here and then up in this area. Pardon if you can see my gray hair because I haven't dyed my hair in a while. And then this is the other side. Now, granted, I've had my hair up and under wig caps, you know, because I've been wearing wigs all week. So that is the situation. Now, I am going to put this on where you're supposed to be wearing it. And you can, hopefully you'll be able to see where what I'm not happy with. OK, so I'm just going to set this on my head. So this is a lace front. And so technically this should be blending in with my own hair. Now this looks really freaking cute. You know, I do have my own bangs out. It does kind of blend in. But I'm going to turn around and show you what this looks like. Now see, this is very dense here and on the sides. Here's the topper. And my wig and my own bio hair is underneath. Now this would be great if that's where my hair loss was. Here's the side. Again, this is really great. And the back. Now you can see where this coverage is because of the difference in my own hair color. It might be okay but it's very sparse still there. I feel anyway, maybe you guys can give me your thoughts on that. And then the side. So the other day I wore this and I actually 
push this back on my head a bit. So I didn't align the lace with the, you know, with my uh, own hairline. I scooted it back so that it would give more coverage where I needed. And I actually liked it. So I'm going to do that right now. So I'm going to put this on. And here is the lace front. So, you know, technically it should go about there. I'm going to scoot this back to like here because again, I have my own hair and it kind of blends in and I'm going to start clipping these in. There's four clips, one, two, and I'm still getting the hang of this, so. Three, and I thought the other one was like around here, yeah. Sometimes they just don't want to. Gosh, that one doesn't want to clip. Okay, I kind of made it clip. Okay, so you might have to do some doctoring up of this. Um, that might be a little too far back. But anyway, that's the deal. And what I did is I... You know, if you could see the lace here a little bit, if your own bio hair was a little light, I use some medium brown root touch-up spray. And I would just squirt it kind of in here, tossle this up, you know, kind of cover it, whatever. And I'm going to spin around now and let you see what this looks like. So here is the topper. Now this topper and fiber are down lower on my head where I need the cover. So I'm gonna turn around again. So here is the side, the back. Hopefully you can see that, can I see it? Yeah, see that? Look how far now that hair comes down. Isn't that insane? Ah! And then the side. Now you guys, now this might work. Ooh, I think my lighting just went crazy there. Now this might work. I still have to get used to, you know, just having this so um, light, but obviously you can see this beautiful <laughs> synthetic hair <laughs> versus my nasty, thin, gross hair. Now I would, now, so that's that. This is what I did. And I'll use a different clip this time that's a little bit more heavy duty. <laughs> but I am now going to take all of this. Now, you could put this in a ponytail. Um, maybe I will. I'll put this in a ponytail first. You could put this in a low ponytail. Bring down some of your sides because you have some sides now. Isn't that adorable? Now, girls and, and guys, I guess. This I could deal with for the summer. Now, I'm going to turn around because I don't know what this looks like again. But there's the side. Let's see what the back looks like. See, that looks so cute. And again, this might look a little bit, you know, bad back here. Well, the... I don't think the wig go, or the topper goes down that far. But you could try to curl your own, you know, bio hair. I didn't today because I really don't care. Because I'm going to wear this up. So you could do that as a ponytail. And I will say this too. My own bio hair is starting to grow out. You know, look at how long this is. And you guys, I'll talk about that too in a little bit. But... I honestly think it has to do with the apple cider vinegar I've been putting on my hair. So let's see this clip. Now, this is how I would wear my hair um, in the summer. 
before. I would bring all of this up and I just hope this looks okay because you know it's really hard to do this. And you can see, I mean, even when I'm doing this, I can already feel, I feel my own bio hair and I feel the synthetic hair. Oh my gosh. See, I mean, literally this is what I would wear in the summer all the time. My hair was always up, which, you know, actually could have damaged my hair. I was using a lot of, uh, um, dry shampoo in it, not washing it, you know, so there's a lot of things that could have damaged my hair, but here you go. Here's the side. The back. And hopefully, I mean, I can't really see, it's hard for me to see, but when I had this up before, everything was covered. The top is covered because there's no, uh, you know, there's no bio hair at the top. All my bio hair is back here, which there was no issue with it there. And look at how cute that is. Now, what you could do too is you could play with these bangs a little bit more, you know, um, flip them. This is not heat friendly, so you can't really do anything like that, but You could probably take some of this, these bangs here and kind of trim them up to make them like more blend in with your own hair. But you guys, like I could do this for the summer. Easy. Easy, easy. But that's the secret. And I don't have any wig grip on with this. They do have a... Um, Milano, uh, it's by Milano. It's a topper wig grip that, you know, still has the felt band here. And then it goes very thin in the back. And instead of clipping that to your, the topper to your own, uh, bio hair, it clips into little like spaces that are in the wig grip. So there you have it. I don't know. I'm thinking I might uh, start wearing this a little bit more and experimenting with uh, toppers because this is stinking cute. And in the summer, I mean, this is going to be where it's at because like I said, sometimes these wigs can get pretty toasty. So Without going into any more detail, hopefully this information was helpful for you. Just wanted to give you an idea of what you can do with a wig topper and helping that blend into your own hair and helping it to cover where you need it. Now, again, maybe I need a different size base. You know, maybe I need a seven inch base or something where it would bring down more fiber to cover my thinning areas. I'll have to experiment with that. But um, hopefully this information was helpful for you. Like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Bye-bye.